They've certainly got all this wrong. Oh, absolutely. In fact, everybody in the world has got it wrong. Simply because, according to latest news, that is, Meghan Markle is, quite frankly, a woman in demand. A woman at the pinnacle of her, her marketing power, some might suggest. Set to become a wonderful influencer. You name it, of course, she is the woman that apparently everybody simply wants. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you today. And as ever, thank you so much for joining me. Lovely to have your company. Welcome, one and all, as I often say, brand new subscribers to a brand new year, to a brand new you. Have you made those resolutions yet? Have you broken them? I know, it takes me 10 minutes, do you know what I mean? Because you think, I will have that biscuit. I will turn the fire up a little bit more. <laughs> because you always think, don't you, I'll just be a little bit good. But in the depths of winter, it's very hard to be good, isn't it? Because we all just feel a bit fed up. It's that thing, isn't it? S-A-D. SAD. Seasonal Adjustive Disorder. There's always a phrase, isn't there? I just call it winter. Do you? Yes. Well, you see, well, that's why we get on, clearly. You know, I mean, it's just the depths of winter. Gets dark by four o'clock, you feel you've been in bed hours. Turn around, it's only half seven. I know, well, yes, so you can go to bed early if you want. I know, I'm not, I'm not telling you off, I'm merely just saying. Back as ever to your breaking world story of the day. Big story, this, because apparently, you know, Meghan Markle, well, uh, lots of people want to back her and pay lots of money, that sort of thing, you know, be an influencer. Something some people might suggest she started way back with her own vlog, you know, the thing called The Tig. It's really all about sort of saying you like certain things and hopefully your dedicated fans, followers think, yeah, that's not a bad idea. I too think that, you know, I I think I'll buy that perfume or try those things. That type of stuff, you get the picture. But you see, when you're trying to make a career out of it, particularly now that you don't have the mantle of the British monarchy to fall back upon, you've really got to come up with something interesting. And the brands, whether Megan and her team deny this or not, you know, the big brands are really looking for fresh new faces, as we saw recently with Dior and Meg Bellamy, or some established face that says instantly, Yes, you know, I will buy that brand. I mean, over here in the United Kingdom, we have a former reality TV star, Stacey Solomon, suddenly popping up uh, the very expensive promotion of Hello Fresh. This is where the food's delivered to your house and then you cook it. If you're going that far, I'd want it freshly cooked, wouldn't you? But apparently, you see, they believe that Stacey Solomon, with her thousands of followers on Instagram, etc., will help sell the brand. I think differently. It's a bit like Meghan Markle. You see, I can tell you first and exclusive, there are a lot of offers for Meghan. No two ways about it. An ex-royal flogging goods is big business. It happened for Fergie in the 90s. You see, you can get the money. But the 90s is a long time ago. And Meghan Markle, quite frankly, is this too expensive. You see, while they want to offer her things, you know, uh, maybe big endorsements, and in fact, some of them might be a collective endorsement where you have three or four celebrities, so the money's even more watered down. You see, Megan's team require a lot of money. Quite frankly, they think she's worth a lot of money, and that's entirely up to her. That's her prerogative. But as marketeers bow down to a very difficult 2023 and look at exactly what's available in 2024, some might suggest a co-sharing deal where, of course, Megan would get a slice of the profits, should there be any. Risk factor there is, can she shift the units? So while her team claim, yes, there's lots of deals on the table, there simply are lots of deals on the table, but not the deals that are lucrative and not the sort of money, allegedly, that Meghan Markle will require to retain and sustain that lifestyle that she and Harry now both love so much out in Montecito. Worth it? Of course, but at a price. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.